Hey, this is Mauricio with CloudWoods.net and today we'll be covering a very sensitive topic, how to back up business email. If you actively connect with business partners and customers online, chances are you understand the importance of your virtual paper trail. Your emails contain client data, they contain ideas, they contain instructions and other information critical to your business success. Loss of such data could disrupt your relationships, could cost you money and even get you into legal trouble. A good email backup strategy is the best way to ensure you never get into that kind of situation. In this guide, we'll walk you through the basic steps of backing up your email data files in the cloud. We'll use three of the best online backup solutions for email to help you explain the process. We use Carbonite, we use Backblaze, and we use CrashPlan. You can find individual reviews of each service in our YouTube channel or on cloudwoods.net and I'll leave you the links in the description box below for you to navigate. Now, the first step is to locate your email data file. Backing up your email to the cloud requires that you're using a desktop client to access your emails. As most people are familiar with it, we'll use Microsoft Outlook as an example. However, these steps outlined in this article work similarly with other popular services like, for example, Windows Live Mail, Mozilla Thunderbird, um, Incredimail, and MacMail. Email clients like Outlook 2016 store all your emails in a single data file. For Windows Outlook users, this will be a personal storage table or PST file. For Mac Outlook users, it will be an Outlook for Mac or OLM file. The first thing you need to do in order to back up your Outlook emails on the cloud is figure out exactly where that file is. If you use Windows, the location will depend on your version of Windows and Outlook. I'll put some common locations here um, into the video so that you can explore them on your own. For Mac users, this is uh, most likely in your Documents folder, which looks something like this. If you're having trouble locating your email data file, you can easily discover its location from inside the Outlook app. In Outlook 2016, first click on File in your toolbar. Next, select Accounting Settings. The Account Settings window will open. Click on the Data Files tab. This will list the location of your email data file. Let's hop onto the second step, tagging your email data file for backup. Now that you know the location, you'll need to make sure your data file is marked for backup by your online backup service. Some services make this easier than others. With CrashPlan, you'll need to open the desktop client first. Make sure you're on the backup tab and click the change button under the files section. Navigate to the location of your email data file and make sure the radio button beside it is checked. Going forward, this file will be backed up by CrashPlan. Carbonite makes the process even easier because it doesn't require that users mark files for backup from within its client. It's not even possible. Instead, just navigate to the location of your email data file using the Explorer. Then right-click on the file, hover your mouse on Carbonite and select Back This Up. That's all there is to it. In fact, Carbonite simplifies the process even more if you opt for automatic backup when you install its app to your computer. Carbonite will locate and tag common file types for backup on its own, including email data files. That way, you don't have to go hunting for them. However, with Carbonite, automatic backup only works in the files if the files are under four gigabytes. If you have a large email data file, you'll still need to manually tag it. Backblaze automatically selects files for backup based on file type 2. From Backblaze's desktop interface, you just need to make sure your email data file type isn't in the file type ex exclusions list. To review the exclusions list, Click Settings, then navigate to the Exclusions tab of the Settings pane when it opens. Check below the words, these file types will not be backed up to make sure a PST or OLM files aren't listed there. By default, it shouldn't be. Backblaze doesn't let you select or deselect individual files for backup from your file explorer. However, it will backup basically everything on your computer. Step 3. Turn on Continuous Backup. 
With most online backup services, you can either elect to schedule backups or let them run continuously. The backup process can hog system resources and scheduled backups are one way of making sure your system won't lock up while you're working and doing other tasks. The issue with scheduled backups is that it means your business emails won't be backed up as frequently. So if your computer crashes, you'll lose an email sent or received in between backups. That means for business users who place a high priority on records of their communications, continuous backup is the better choice. Most online backup providers let you switch or turn on continuous backup from within the desktop client. With Carbonite, for example, you only need to open the services desktop tool and then click on settings and controls to visit the settings pane. Make sure backup continuously is checked and you'll be all set. Carbonite enables this feature by default, so it should already be on. Backblaze and CrashPlan are just as easy to configure. With Backblaze, just click settings and go to the schedule tab. Select continuously from the backup schedule window. If you're using CrashPlan, go to the settings tab in the desktop interface. From the drop down menu to the right, you will see the words backup will run and select always. Once you've got continuous backup set, however, don't make the mistake of thinking your emails are backed up in real time as you type them. While a mostly great backup service, Backblaze, isn't able to backup PST files while Outlook is open because its file transfer algorithms can't work around locked files. Carbonite and CrashPlan don't share that limitation. That's because they both use Volume Shadow Copy Service, or VSS, a Microsoft technology that allows for backups of files even when they're in use. Another backlist limitation impacting email backup is that any data files larger than 30 megabytes are only backed up once every 48 hours, regardless of whether you have continuous backup on or not. Since Outlook PST files are set to grow up to 50 gigabytes in size by default, this is likely an issue you'll face if you send many emails with many attachments, and most businesses do. Carbonite backs up files within 10 minutes of a change occurring and doesn't pay attention to the file size. Well, subsequent changes to files are backed up within 24 hours though. When it comes to backup speed, all three services handle large files well thanks to block level incremental processing. Block level incremental transfers means that when your email data files change, the entire file is not uploaded again to your cloud backup space. Instead, only the parts or blocks of the file that change are copied. This saves time and reduces the toll on your system resources and bandwidth. If email communications are critical to your business, it pays to make sure a hard drive crash, file corruption, or stolen laptop don't leave you disconnected from your coworkers and clients. Thankfully, the right online backup solution makes it simple to safeguard your data, your email, or everything that is essentially crucial to your business. Now, all three online backup services used as examples in this piece make it easy to locate and mark your email data files for backup, and they use powerful file transfer architectures to ensure a smooth process. All three also offer, well, unlimited storage for both home and, and office plans, essentially. We at Cloudwoods, we feel confident recommending any of them, but essentially we feel that Carbonite offers the best all-around service for people looking to back up business email. Now, questions or comments on backing up your business email? Hit us up in the comments below, send us your questions, and we're gonna see us in the next video. Bye-bye.